bringing the Rogers Chair in the American Presidency at Vanderbilt University, historian, oh, no, our good, good friend Mika. John Meacham, mm -hmm. Washington Bureau Chief for USA Today, Susan Page, and founder go. of the conservative website, The Bulwark. Charlie Sykes. Good morning, everybody. John, great to have Hi. you in New York with us. You've been listening along here through Green Acres, Paul Lind, Paul Newman, and Wilford Brimley. <laughs> checking impressive. all the boxes. It was no Operation Petticoat, but I'm, I live in hope. Well, guess what? Oh, it's a four hour wow. show. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's wow. plenty of time. Sorry. So uh, let's take the, uh, the long American view classic. of this of impeachment and everything else and, and what Republicans yeah. are doing here. We're at a point where it's politics is programming. That's what this is. Mm -hmm. uh, they needed a new season of something, so they've dropped it. Um, and <laughs> the hope, I think, is that there's so much confusion. Uh, it's what about this, what about that, that it clouds everyone's sense, their capacity. They are hoping that it clouds voters' capacity to make judgments and assign the correct weight to, to different uh, issues. and. I go back to this question, are we up to this? Are we up to self-government in right. an era in which the leadership class of one of the two major parties has decided to be wholly captive to at best a 35% group uh, in the country? And the, the delta here is, is you know, 30, 30, and for what it's worth, speaking of McCarthy, 34% is the number of folks who still approved of Joe McCarthy after he was censured in 1954-55. What's so interesting about this moment is that there's another 14 or 15% of the country that for various reasons go along with this Trumpist base. And if enough of those folks, this one you're talking about, if enough of those people can say, you know what, actually the country and the Constitution is more important than winning the afternoon, then perhaps we're okay. But I really do think it's that, it's that fundamental. And I don't mean to be overly grand or overly alarmist, but Kevin McCarthy's the guy who accidentally told the truth about Benghazi, remember? Didn't that cost him the job once? Mm -hmm. Uh, I think I have that right. You do. When yep. he said, he said, we're just trying to create problems for Hillary. There, this, this, and I'm not being naive. Jefferson and Hamilton hated each other. I understand that. But we, they've now gone to the most serious constitutional remedies as temporary weapons of war. And, and Jonathan, we should mm. point out, James Comer did the same thing in this case, saying out loud, look at Biden's poll numbers since we started this investigation. Yeah. Oh, Representative Comer's done it. Senator Grassley has done it. There have been a number of Republicans who have showed their cards and basically said this is a political play. And Speaker McCarthy, we note that he seems to be owned by the far right of his party. He's also someone that Donald Trump referred to as my Kevin for years mm. and never pushed back on that either. So, so John Mitchell, you say that, I mean, this is, we are seeming to be in a new, a new place here. Are there moments in history that you can compare this to in terms of a, a, an impeachment push, something so, that's supposed to be so grave, so rare, so serious, but a party held and pushed back against the fringes and said, no, we're not going to do this. And yet this, at this time, McCarthy is, is seemingly unable to, to do that. No, I mean, the, the politics of impeachment in, in the major cases, uh, you can always find you know, a precedent for what, what you're looking for. Uh, the, Republic, the radical Republicans tried, started trying to impeach Andrew Johnson in December of 1865. Uh, but the fact that that's the precedent, Reconstruction, right. Civil War, is deeply disturbing. And I think that, sure, there could be a backlash. Uh, it may be that our analogies uh, to the 1990s are, are pointless at, the, at, at this juncture. Um, I think one of the things we all have to be careful about, or at least I, I'll speak for myself, what I, what I feel I have to be careful about in talking about this is I think one of the problems in, in, at this hour is folks like us totally understandably still speak as if there's a conventional reality, as if gravity works, as if you know the stars are somehow still in alignment, <clears throat> and they're really not, right? Donald Trump was president of the United States and, and tried to overthrow the government of the United States. And then we fall back, understandably, 
on, well, did Biden have a good week or a bad week? No, it, it, that's not really the question anymore. The mm -hmm. question is, are you for the Constitution or are you against it? And I don't think this week is going to make that conversation any saner.